Well, I don't think I don't think I can go over all that I would have said because I was not speaking from any notes also. But basically, uh, I made it very clear that this is a moment for all of Guyana to reflect. This is a moment for us to charter a way forward that is built on unity, uh, to charter a way forward uh, in which the development aspirations of all our people can be realized in a respectful manner. Moving Guyana forward, we have to be respectful to each other. We have to ensure, and this is what the government will be focused on, a development agenda that would reflect the priorities of every Guyanese. We are building a country for every Guyanese. There is no need for fear. There is no need for distinction based on political persuasion. No need for distinction based on uh, religious belief or ethnicity. This is a government for all of Guyana. And that is the way the government will operate. Uh, later this week, uh, we will be planning an official inauguration ceremony in which I will outline very clearly the vision of the government and where uh, we would like to see Guyana at the end of our five years. We are also committed to democracy, the rule of law and good governance. And importantly, I took the opportunity to, to thank all Guyanese, the media, the private sector, civil society, the diplomatic community and international organizations for the role they played in ensuring that our country remain democratic, uh, remain within the boundaries of the rule of law, and that the will of the people is finally reflected today. I can't hear you. That based on the recounts and the irregularities that surface, it does not, the results today does not reflect the will of the people. I think that matter has been dealt with by the court and I'm not going to go over it at this time. Uh, the CEO presented the report and the calculation of the seats based on the recount figures that would have been uh, ordered by the court. Uh, the CEO is entitled to his own personal opinion, um, as we have said and I, the General Secretary of the PEP Civic has made it very clear that any political party can go to a, a, a petition, election petition. So um, we are at a stage now where a new government has been sworn in, a new president has been sworn in, and we are focusing on the future, transitioning to a Guyana uh, in which our development aspirations can be realized. And our focus now is not on negativity, our focus is on positive outcome for Guyana. Thank you. I did not require the events of the last five months to make me more appreciative for who we are as a people. I mean, we all have a responsibility to safeguard and protect who we are as a people, to protect our freedom and our democracy. So the events have strengthened my resolve and my commitment to ensuring that democracy, good governance, the rule of law, and the changes that are required to ensure we never find ourselves back in a position like that must be addressed. And I, I, I want to thank all the uh, political parties who participated in this process, the political parties who did, uh, did their part in ensuring we are here today. Uh, I, I promise you three questions. We went through this already. No, that was just two. Yeah, that's, 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 I asked, I asked about, your personal, um, about your personal views. Did you believe the day would come today? We were always confident. I was always confident. And you're, and you're still ready all I, I was always confident that the People's Progressive Party Civic, with the support of the people, uh, with the plans and the agenda that we outlined in our manifesto, uh, would have uh, won the elections. And that the winning that elections was not only for the supporters, but winning that election was for all of Guyana. And, and, and our country as a whole. Well, I just went through that. We are going to go through the details of that uh, during this week. I also made uh, some important. Uh, uh, I also made some important um, appointment, the first set of appointment, as we move towards the transition. So I have a meeting at this moment. 
uh, with the heads of the joint services. So thank you very much, members of the media. And I want to thank you sincerely, too, for the work you did over the past months. Thank you very much.